Hey guys, it's your girl Lini and welcome to Inner Beauty Out. For all my new people and those who are returning, I love you guys. Happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and I can't wait for the next Christmas and New Year's Eve. And in spirit of that, we're doing a makeup tutorial. So first we start off with our Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NW44 uh, along with our Morphe M330, oh I'm sorry, M433 Shader Brush. And what we're going to do is actually set the concealer that is underneath our brow bone so that it's a nice transition um, into the transition color and shade that we're going to lay on the lid. Next we go in with our transition colors and I am choosing to go with a warm orangey brown shade and now we're using the M330 paper blending brush and it is in the shades um, Rule and Brown Script. I love these because it's not too cool and it's a nice uh, blend of warmth in the actual crease. Um, and then we're going to go back in with our Coastal Sense Vibrant Red Eyeshadow and this is what we're going to also begin uh, warming up the, the crease with as well. We're going to actually end up using that same shade on our lid. Now we're layering all these warm colors together to create a nice gradient and dimension within the eyes. To further uh, emphasize the crease and where it is, we're going back in with uh, Deep Damson by MAC as well as Maroon Berry by Coastal Sense and just put that on the outer V portion of the eyes and that creates a little bit more depth. Now you always want to make sure you blend and everything um, is blended well as far as not having any harsh lines. So I'm going back in with that uh, initial shader brush um, by Morphe, the M433, and I'm going to go ahead and um, blend that out on the crease bone, or on the bone. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with a regular um, flat shader brush, and this is a synthetic brush, but it packs on the color really, really well. And that is that vibrant red color, and we're just going to pack it on the lid. Now I'm going back in with my M330 and blending that out. Again, blending is important. Now the most important and fun part is using the mixing medium to apply the glitter. So this mixing medium is by MAC and you want to apply a nice layer across the lid um, very evenly and how you want it to look. And then I'm going in with this beautiful ruby glitter that is so everything. It is by Coastal Scents and we're going to pack that onto the, to the mixing medium um, right after. So you want to make sure that you give this some time to actually dry um, because if you open up your lids uh, right after applying the glitter, you'll have a little bit of a mess and some transfer onto your brow bone. So you don't want to do that. Next we're going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour uh, Palette and it is so everything. It is not everything. And we're using the shade Shax, I believe it's called. And this is where we're going to actually start to cut our crease. And this is just defining um, this smoky eye and making it a little bit more dramatic and you know just kind of come together I just love this so to cut the crease what I do is I go in with the very tip of the brush um, along my crease and then as I'm applying the color I am brushing it up so that it blends into my crease my uh, near the brow bone you don't want to go too high but you just want to apply it right where the crease is um, where your fold a little bit above your fold of your eyelid um, so that way when you open your eyes you can see uh, the smoky effect of it all um, and it just really comes together. So remember just putting smaller, you know, use smaller motions when putting this on. Um, packing it on little by little because you don't want to go crazy and you can't fix it. And blend out as you actually go along because that helps build the gradient uh, between the red and the black. And it just really fuses together nicely. So I'm actually using this as also a guide because when I go back to put my liner in, it just looks a lot nicer. Now to warm it up, I'm going to go back in with Silk Cubis by um, Kat Von D. And this also helps fuse the brown and the black and the red together so that it's a nice gradient. The reason I'm choosing to go with that brown, it has a bit of some red undertone in it. And I think it just really blends really well that way. And then to emphasize it a little bit further, I go back in with the um, black, uh, well the shack by the Kat Von D as well to go uh, back into the crease. You'll see me go back in a couple of times, well you may not see me, I might have to edit it out. <laughs> but I go back in just to make sure that it, it is a nice transition. Next I'm using this Drugstore NYC Liquid Liner. 
Um, it does the job, especially when you're using it over glitter. You want to use something that is liquid um, because it's just easier and you're not taking off any of the glitter. Um, so I just create a nice little wing and then I go in with my um, Bioderma to clean up the edges along with a nice cotton swab. Now I'm using the Real Techniques uh, shader brush and I just want to make sure that I'm blending it out. There are no harsh lines of where it starts or stops or whatever the case may be. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and blend that out nicely. Next I'm going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation in 355 and 330. One is toffee, the other one's coconut. Um, I mix it up to get my nice shade and I will talk so much about this in my next video. I cannot wait to post that, but yeah. Um, so I apply that as my foundation along with my Real, Techni Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I think it's called. <laughs> I was almost going to say Beauty Blender. And then I just go and apply that, a nice uh, coat of, along the face. Um, and this actually matches my neck, guys. OMG. Then I go in with my Derma Blend and it's really a tattoo primer. But I like to put it on because you guys know how I tear crazy and I do not want anything to move so I'm using that along with the concealer um, in mocha and then I just you know kind of put that on the, under the eye and then to add a little bit more highlight I'm using the yellow corrector by LA Pro Girl um, and this is just going to highlight underneath the eyes just a little bit it's very subtle um, so I am blending that out and you'll see me go back in with the MAC light boost highlighting pen because I just want a little more highlight because what can a girl do without too much highlight you know what I mean <laughs> but <laughs> let me stop I just love the fact that um it's a nice yellow highlight and it's not over exaggerated it's it still blends in with my my skin tone so we're gonna blend all that out until it disappears into the skin and we have just one unified look. As I mentioned, I said I was gonna go back in with Light Boost and this is the their highlighter pen um, by the Prep and Time line. And I just wanted to create a little bit more of a highlighted effect, um, just bring out those points of my face um, and make it just stand out a little bit more. And so this is why I'm going in the areas that I am. Um, so again, we're gonna blend that out with the same Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and um, just you know make it a little bit more flawless <laughs> so other than that I'm going to go in with my contour and I'm using black opal their foundation stick and suede mocha um, and I just go in a little bit higher than my ear flick where the highest point of my ear goes because um, I just wanted a more chiseled look um, and so and I warm up the face by going in the perimeter of the face as well um, just to warm it up because that's obviously we have like one flat color on the face at this point so back in with that sponge and we're going to tap it into the skin and blend it out by diffusing the color in that way. I think it's the most natural way to go about it without looking super cakey. Um, so we just want to blend that all out. Then to set it up, set it all, we're going to use the Buttercup Setting Powder by Sasha. Um, and I love this because it is so finely milled. It is so much better to me in comparison to the Ben Nye powder. I feel like the Ben Nye powder sometimes, and I was a diehard Ben Nye fan, um, can get a little bit blotchy um, and you know grab a hold of certain wet spots uh, in terms of the foundation. And so I feel like this works amazing. And I put it where I want to highlight and set those particular points on my face. So I'm going back in with NC50 and this is the MAC Studio Fix um, Powder Plus Foundation as well. And because I wanted to use a highlighting kind of powder to just keep the brightening effect um, that I've already worked hard on. <laughs> and so I'm just putting those in the high points of my face and using that with this, the Real Techniques brush. Um, and so I'm going back in with my Sigma uh, Big Powder Brush and I'm just setting my face with NW44 in the Studio Fix plus powder foundation um, and yeah and we're gonna go ahead and set the whole entire face then I'm gonna go in with ebony bronze cover girl powder um, and I'm using the Morphe brush in M178 which is a great contour it gets into the hollow of the cheeks and I love that so I'm just building it the color up very subtly um, you don't want it to be a harsh line um, and I'm just going back in where I actually set or put um, the contour colors around my face and then I'm actually using that for the nose area as well and we're blending it all the way into the actual eye area because we want it to look very natural. Um, we don't want things to look very harsh and blending it up to the actual eyebrow beginning point of the eyebrow helps it look that way. 
Now I'm going with my favorite trios of my uh, blushes. I love this by Sleek. I'm using the Pink Sprint and Pumpkin, and I'm going along the lines of my contour because I just kind of want it to be a very natural, rosy kissed, cheekbone-ish, is everything kind of a look. <laughs> and so um, that's why I'm doing that. To line the waterline, I'm using Smolder by MAC. Um, I love this cold liner because it is, because it is super creamy as um, soon as it meets the eye. Um, however, to just be a little bit more detail oriented in the inner corner of the eye, um, I went in with the LA Girl uh, liquid liner. And to smudge it out and make it a little bit more sultry, um, I'm using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush and I'm going back in with that uh, original black shade from the uh, Kat Von D eye um, contour palette. palette. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, and I love that. I feel like this black is actually comparable to my favorite Urban Decay blackout. Um, so I'm actually, as I mentioned before, I'm going back in to just like warm up and make this a little bit more sultry. So I'm, I'm adding a little bit more black because I'm just being extra and it's a holiday look and you can be extra. <laughs> and I go back in and use that same brownish red tone um, that I've used before, uh, Succubus or something like that it was called, um, under the black um, just to kind of make it less blunt and a little bit more uh, of a blended look. Now on to the lips. The lips are everything and we're using Night Moth as I always do, most of the time, um, uh, their lip liner, and this is by MAC. And then I'm going in with the Burgundy Lip Mix. This is a pro product, so you wouldn't be able to get it at the stores. You can only get it online, and um, that's the unfortunate part, but it's not that it's not available to everyone. So you can definitely get online and get it. I think a little goes a long way. Um, just what you saw on the back of my hand would be sufficient for this look. I, I'm telling you, it's just amazing. It'll last you so long and it's not even crazy expensive. Anyway, it dries matte and I'm using um, a lip brush by, by Sigma. I'm sure I probably included the information on that before. But I just want to make sure that I have like a nice gradient effect, a very lined, clean look. Um, and I just want my lips to last all day, laughing, talking, all that jazz for the holidays. You want to be able to have a lip color that you don't have to keep retouching every five seconds. So that is why I'm going in the way I am. Um, then I'm using this matte lip color in Scarlet Luster by Sephora. It is everything as well. It um, is a matte lipstick. As I mentioned before, it's a cream lipstick. It is so not drying. It is great. Um, and as you can see, it blended really nicely into the burgundy color that I initially laid down on the lip. Um, and it's the nice pop of red. Now, make sure you get that inner part of your lip because you don't want that line. <laughs> so I just pout my lips and add a little bit more on the inner part um, and let it just dry. Now I'm adding my favorite highlighters, which is Global Glow and Gold Deposit by MAC on the highest point of my cheekbone because we want that glow from the holidays or for the holidays <laughs> outside of our glittery eyes. People will just be reflecting off of us. <laughs> Can I be an extra? Just a little bit, right? <laughs> so we want that Cupid's bow to shine bright like a diamond. We want our nose to shine bright like a diamond and all that jazz. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually going ahead to kind of soften up the inner portion of my brows. I don't like it to be super blunt, um, and so I'm creating like a gradient effect there. I've also added a setting power, a setting brow gel, and this is in um, Red Chestnut by MAC, and I love this new technique because it's just more natural this way. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I definitely hope you enjoy. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys, and happy holidays. See you in my next video.